Welcome to Charlie TV. I'm Charlie, and I want to welcome you to another episode. In tonight's episode, we are going to be talking about the trashiest, most cultiest, most wildest show on earth. I'm like, where you can kick somebody's ass legally and nationally. I give you Jerry, 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 Jerry Springer. This show is so freaking cult. There's an interesting fact about this show that not a lot of people knew. This show is a syndicated show. That means that it was never dedicated to a spe any specific network. That's how tough this was to pull off. But if there was any era that could do it, it was the late 80s into the early to mid 90s. And then it dominated after that. It was distributed independently from any specific network. So they were sold to directly to TV stations because nobody wanted to touch this. Nobody wanted to touch this. I do remember it being on the Fox lineup. It was, I think it was after Married with Children, if I'm not mistaken. So this show is controversial. It's sensational. It's the wildest talk show to ever grace the airwaves, bar none. I don't care what you're talking about now. I don't care how dysfunctional you're getting now. No one could top this. It was madness. People have wondered over the years if it was actually made with uh, the intent to use actors in, in the uh, television show because that's how off the wall and you know just insane the show had got. However, the producers of the show make it abundantly clear that there was no actors. They would just tell the people that were on the television show to exaggerate how they were feeling and how they would behave, you know, for the sake of entertainment. The guests are dysfunctional, they're confrontational, and more often than not want to beat the hell out of someone in their family. It did make you feel normal <laughs> for having difficult and, you know, not so good and pleasant feelings about your home life and wanting to hit someone. <laughs> Despite all the controversy and all the drama of the show being a decay of Western society and this isn't what our culture should stand for and all that crap, I must say, in a weird, twisted way, no matter who they were, and what they were going through. It brought everyone together in a bizarre way. Before the world decided that it couldn't handle it anymore. Being honest, being that honest, is hard for some. Now people often think that the popularity of this show was the, you know, sensationalism and the, you know, spectacles and the, you know, the content of the show. But what actually made this show very unique and very special, so popular, was Jerry Springer's charm and his willingness to help anyone in any situation, no matter how bad he thought. <laughs> no one was like Jerry Springer. All the daytime talk show hosts around that time were pining to be Jerry Springer. They wanted to be not just cherished, but that popular and that successful, uh, letting people look at a twisted side of life. It was very refreshing that Jerry wanted to help the people in their situation. He genuinely cared about the human behavior and didn't want to judge anyone for their lifestyle, their, cir their circumstances, the situations that they were in. No matter how insane it got, he just wanted to help no matter what, even if they just wanted to kill each other on the show. The show dared to go where most never dared go. <laughs> I love the fact that he always ended the show with his reflective thought after all the madness had occurred. The cult audience that loved the show understood and rated, related to the show in a big, trashy way. <laughs> We got Jerry and got to see insanity on t our TV screen. But he always wanted to give people food for thought by letting it all What are out. you watching? This is crazy. But I loved that Jerry hardly did anything. He introduced right. the people. 
<laughs> they started fighting. The audience took over, rooting them on. Right. That and Steve then the... Wilco would come out and separate the people. Yeah. And then at the end, Jerry would give his final word. <laughs> so today we start our 25th year of doing this show. My gratefulness surpassed only by my surprise. My surprise that it's longevity. How in the world did we last so long? Let's be honest, virtually anyone could do what I do, which is to basically say three things. You did what? Come on out. We'll be right back. <laughs> you practice that and you'll be hosting your own show in no time. Oh, there is one other thing that brings success. Luck, lots of it. And surround yourself with smart, talented people who know a heck of a lot more about television than I do. Look, I've been blessed through these 25 years to have people of enormous talent and drive producing a show of constant challenges which can't be saved day to day by simply booking a big name celebrity. You see, we don't have any on our show. No, just regular folks of no fame, little if any wealth, and very little influence. Folks just taking a moment, which they rarely if ever get, to let the world know something about what they are thinking or feeling or doing. Admittedly, it's often crazy or outside the norm of accepted behavior, but what I've learned over our quarter century of shows is that deep down, we are all alike. Some of us just dress better or had a better education or better luck in the gene pool of parents. I'll say it again. Deep down, we are all the same. We all want to be happy. We cry when we're hurt. We're angry when we've been mistreated and to be liked, accepted, and respected, not to mention loved, is the greatest gift of all. Yes, we're all alike. Know this, there's never been a moment in the 25 years of doing this show that I ever thought I was better than the people who appear on our stage. I'm not better, only luckier. So thanks for the 25 years. We've signed on to do a whole bunch more. And as long as I stay healthy, we will. And on that note, take care of yourself and each other. Hopefully somewhere in heaven right now, Robin, all of the angels are chanting the following. Jerry, 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 Jerry. You Rest don't in know peace, how wonderful Jerry. that makes me feel. I want to thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments section what TV show, characters, or indie cult film you want me to break down next. Thank you so much for watching and have a great night.